Cleveland Browns lost an absolute heartbreaker on Monday night against the Steelers. Just a tragedy of a game where, you know, both teams just looked like really out of sync, really out of sorts. Both offenses, you can make the case, played awful. But the real tragedy of that game was the Nick Chubb injury, the Nick Chubb knee injury on that play. A play so gruesome that on TV, on the Monday Night Crew, they didn't even want to show it. And that's it's up on the channel if you want to see it. Um, obviously, just if you play it in slow-mo, a devastating, devastating knee injury on apparently the same knee that he'd already had surgically repaired. So obviously just obviously a dramatic injury, obviously a terrible injury. He's already in the time after this been ruled out for the entire year. He's out now. Uh, it, it was just a bad day for the Browns. That was just a bad day for the Browns. I think a lot of it is, you know, when he was out of that game, a lot of the energy was taken out of their sidelines. I think a lot of energy was taken out of their offense. Because you look at that injury, if it is as bad as it looked, and if it's as bad as what most people think, that could be career-ending. His career could be essentially over after an injury of that magnitude. You don't really come back from your knee exploding like his did there. And it's looking to me like it's just going to derail this Brown season. They were playing great in that week one game. Obviously, the offense was shaky, but you knew with Nick Chubb, he was the rock of that offense. Deshaun Watson didn't even have to be great at that point because he had Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb makes every quarterback better. And I know Baker's playing well for Tampa right now, but he made Baker Mayfield look good for a solid amount of time. He was the backbone of this offense, especially when your O-line is missing a piece, although Dewan Jones has played really well, has had the highest rating for any of Brown's O-linemen so far. But obviously just a devastating injury that's the rockier team. And you look at it, and I just don't know how it can't derail the plans that I, you know, the heights that I thought this team could reach for this season. Because their defense, without a doubt, is they're going to, they're cementing themselves as a top five unit in football. They look great. They look elite. They have energy. They're hyped up. Obviously, great hire at the defensive coordinator position. Switched around this defense. The defense was a huge issue last year for the Cleveland Browns. This year, they look far more capable, far more composed. They're able to shut teams down. If you look at it, they only allowed one touchdown. Well, if you look at the whole year, they've only allowed one touchdown, 15 points. So they only allowed 12 in that game. If Deshaun Watson didn't get hit and fumble or didn't throw that first pick at the first play of the game, that game's a blowout. If Nick Chubb doesn't get injured, this game probably ends with the Browns winning by at least 10 points. But that's just not how it happened. And now you're looking at it, and this Browns schedule, it's not the easiest schedule in the books. And Deshaun Watson, he really needed Nick Chubb to be that back because it would have just, it opens more things up for him, especially, like I said, he's still adjusting in the game. And I'm not ready to sit here and write him off as a bad quarterback or, you know, whatever that, whatever you might say about that. I'm not ready to sit here and write him off as a bad quarterback. Like I said, he missed all that time where he probably sat around and didn't do much of anything. Missed a lot of time. It's going to take time to get in the swing of things. It's as if he restarted. It's kind of like that. It's like a bridge of careers. Even when Jordan retired um, from the NBA, you know, he needed that like one year to kind of come back and be him. And, you know, I know it's been a year. He's kind of been playing for like, he had that like six game stretch. This really game eight on his comeback stretch. And has he looked good? No, not really. Did he look, did he make some good passes in that game though? Yeah, he did. But I think the biggest problem with him right now is the pocket awareness. He needs to get rid of the ball quicker. I know he's trying to make plays when the pressure collapses. And the Steelers defense is a really good unit too. But I know he's trying to make plays. Justin Fields has a similar problem. You got to know when to get rid of the ball. 
You can show off off that athleticism as much as you want. That's not how you win football games in the NFL. That was the specialty of Tom Brady. Tom Brady, when the play looked like he was about to get sacked, if it as long as so long as it wasn't like third down or fourth down, he would just throw it into the ground, throw it at the feet of a back. Let go to the next play. If Deshaun Watson makes that decision before he gets sacked there and he sees the pressure coming, which he did, and he doesn't try to escape out of it, he doesn't fumble the brown ball and Browns win that football game. So it's going to come down to that at this point, if they're going to make the playoffs or not. The defense is fine. The defense is that we're, uh, we're still looking at the Greg Newsom injury. It looks like he's okay. I didn't think that that looked that bad. Defense is fine. Defense is elite. It's an elite defense. It's going to come down to can these receivers step up? Yeah, Mark Cooper has stepped up. Uh, how good can Jerome Ford be? Can he step in place? I think they should have went back and signed like Kareem Hunt or brought somebody else in because you need more depth there at the very least. Even if you think Ford's the guy, you need more depth there right off the bat. But it's going to come down to, you know, Deshaun Watson needs to improve with decision making. Receiver, some of the receivers need to be a little bit better in certain categories. Mark Cooper's fine. Donovan Peasel's going. I don't even think he had a catch in this game, which, you know, some of that might not be his fault. And Deshaun Watson has to have better decision making. But without question, it's very possible that this Nick Chubb injury could derail this season. That that was just a key factor that you needed, especially when you have such a little room for error as they do. But, you know, we'll see. And, you know, as of right now, I'm going to need to see like two more games of how they play, how they respond. Because it's an elite defense. And it's not like Sean Watson played that bad against a bad defense. The Steelers are a really good defense. So I'm just going to see, need to see how it materializes. But, you know, it's very possible that that injury could derail the Browns' 2023-2024 season.